because they know not him that sent me. The Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1 through 2. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of the Lord with a good heart, and in simplicity of heart seek him. For he will be found of them that tempt him not, and sheweth himself unto such as do not distrust him. Before I go any further, I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises unto Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rabacha, Kodash, double honors to my elders at Great Millstone, sing honors to the elect, peace and blessings to the one third. Understand the scripture. This is from the Apocrypha. Wisdom of Solomon 1, chapter 1, verse 1 through 2. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Judges speak about and bring forth judgment. That's what we're doing. That's what the prophets have always been doing. First Samuel, the, first, the 16th chapter, the fourth verse. What happened when Samuel approached the elders in the city? They said, come as thou peaceably. Why is that? Whenever you see the prophets, that means that the Lord is getting ready to bring judgment. Repent. That's why the Lord is merciful. He's, he always sends the prophets for you to repent. And then to follow the commandments. So we're going to love the righteousness because of the rebelliousness and the wickedness that's around us. Okay, I'm read again. What's my Solomon 1, verse 1 through 2. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of the Lord with a good heart. And in simplicity of heart, seek him. For he will be found of them that tempt him not, and sheweth himself unto such as do not distrust him. He shew himself to those that do not distrust him. Let that sink in. So those who do not distrust him, they are the ones that understand this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and that will believe in his word. Remember this. St. John 6 and 63. Yahweh Shah said, The words that speak unto you, they are spirit and they are truth. Right? Think about this. What is it saying in St. John the fourth chapter? It said, He seek for those. It said, um, God is his spirit, and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And how would you worship him? According to his word. Because they are spirit and they are truth. They're pure. They're not. They're, they're never going to be told a lie. Remember what it said? Seek the Lord simply in your heart. What does scripture also say? It's plain to the righteous, but it's a stumbling block to the wicked. And the righteous are who? Those that love judgment. Proverbs 30, verse 5 through 6. Every word of God, Yahweh, by is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. See, the Lord revealed himself unto us because we never distrusted him. Think about them. Let me say that. Think about Malachi 3 and 16. It said, a book of remembrance. It said, for those who, who whispered amongst each who spoke amongst each other, who feared, who feared the Lord, who feared the name of the Lord, kept his commandments and thought upon his word. He said he made a book of remembrance for us because we did, we did not distrust him so he revealed himself to us. They are. Every word of God is pure. Yahweh Shah. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. What's our shield? Faith. What's the sword? The word. That's in Ephesians the sixth chapter, putting on the whole armor of the Lord. Come on. Verse 6, add thou not unto his word, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. But see, they hate us. Why? Because they know not him that sent me or sent us. We know who sent IUIC. We know who sent ISUBK. We know who sent all these TD snakes and Cleflo take your dollars. 501c3 charter. They sent them out. That's like the wicked scribe and Pharisees. They were Roman citizens as well. And they were also under the guise of who? The papacy. I'm sorry, not, not the papacy. Well, yeah. No, no, no. Let's see. I'm thinking about something else. Anyway. 
Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5 through 6. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Add thou not unto his word, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. Now listen to this. Matthew chapter 11, verse 15 through 20. He that hath ears to ear to hear, let him hear. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows <laughs> and saying, We have piped unto you. Fellows would be like your friends, your lads, your comrades. We have piped unto you and ye have not danced. We tell you about Psalms 149. All right, we say they shall buy. It was one fifty. Where they shall buy in their kings with feathers of iron. Where it also says that um, in, um, in, in Psalm one forty seven nineteen, the Lord God, the Lord God showed His word unto Jacob, His statutes and commandments unto Israel. As for no other nation, He has not dealt with. As for His judgments, they have not known them. That's why they don't believe what we're saying. The Lord not only blinded the uh, heathen nations of really understanding this. The, uh, the deep prophetic word. That's why now all of a sudden they're coming out with the breakdown because the elders have been putting it out. But even two thirds of our people don't even get it or understand it. So we piped unto them. You, you have not danced. We have mourned unto you. You have not lamented. In other words, you love it here. You do have a repentance. You have a thought about the evil that has befallen our people. None of that. Understand? So. Matthew 11 and 17 18 for John came neither eating nor drinking and they say he hath a devil the son of man came eating and drinking and they said behold a man gluttonous and wine bibber a friend of publicans and sinners so in other words it don't matter what you do in his ministry they gonna hate you regardless because they know not him that sent me or sent us that is what they don't understand. And that's why they're blinded. Because they didn't believe. Remember what it says? If our gospel be hid, it's because the God of this world has blinded them. Why? Because they distrusted him. They never trusted them. <coughs> okay? Now. Verse 19. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous and a wine bibber. The Lord drunk wine, he ate a lot. A friend of publicans and sinners, but wisdom is justified of her children. They began he to upbraid the cities where in most of his mighty works were done because they repented and not. So he did most of his mighty works in these cities, and he still didn't repent. He said, John, he didn't come eating and drinking. They said, he got a devil. I come eating and drinking. I'm a glad to say the wine, baby. No matter what I do or what we do, you're going to always have a reason to hate them. <coughs> right? So I can't. Hold on. I need some. So in those mighty cities, they ain't even want to repent. So listen to this. St. John chapter 7, verse 7. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. <clears throat> so, like Yahushua said, Hey, we've piped unto you, you have not danced, we've mourned unto you, you have not lamented. So, remember the same way they look down and, and, and um, try to defame and speak evil. I like the elders of Great Millstone, like minded men, they did the same thing to your house, shy and the disciples. The same thing. Hearken, St. John chapter 15, verse 19 through 20, 23. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. Oh, liberation. Oh, feminism. Oh, LBT, all them other alphabet group letters. Right? All of that. <clears throat> you have to eat. That's being a part of the world. Go along, get along, right? If you are the world, the world will love his own. But because you are not of the world, could we testify that the works thereof are evil? 
but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hated you. Why? Because we are um we are we are one mind with Yahweh Shai. We we one body. Remember when it says um Yahweh Shai said, "Let them be like unto us, and we and we are one," meaning you're in unison, like a well a well oiled um engine that's running <clears throat> or machine. Everything knit together in unison. Okay. Remember the word. Remember the word that I said unto you: the servant is not greater than his lord. And they have persecuted me; they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. So you have I saying? Listen here: if they ain't keep my saying, they won't keep your saying. But by the foolishness of preaching, say those who do believe. Now think about this. The Lord said the same thing in Ezekiel. But wait, see, wait, I'm gonna get there. <clears throat> First Thessalonians, <laughs> First Thessalonians chapter four, verse eight. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but despiseth God, Yahweh Shai, who hath given unto us his Holy Spirit. Once again, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1 through 2. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of the Lord with a good heart, and in simplicity of heart seek him. Yeah. For he will be found of them that tempt him not, and sheweth himself unto such as do not distrust him. That do not distrust him. He revealed himself by what? Giving unto us his Holy Spirit. First Thessalonians 4 and 8. Back to St. John 15. Now verse 21. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake. <clears throat> think about this. Remember in Acts? The, I think it was the fifth chapter where they said, Did we not straightly tell you not to prophesy this name? That's that's a prime example. Who do you think the the prophets and the apostles were back then during that time? Remember when they wrote that the um the, the wording? It said to the unknown or the altar or whatever, to the unknown God. And Paul said, I am here to I am here to reveal unto you who that is, meaning that they didn't know the name of their God, but they knew they were Israelites. Or whoever the high power was for their people, and Paul revealed it unto them. That's why Paul he was the he was the apostle, the the prophet of the Gentiles who were Israelite foreigners. <clears throat> Cause he he was a Greek citizen, he was a Roman citizen, so he knew how to speak Latin and Greek and all that. So who not better to someone who was already taught in the law, then was given the spirit of faith and then engraving the, the think about that, y'all. He talked about Gamaliel. He's a Pharisee of the Pharisees, circumcised the eighth day. Right? Let that sink in. But at the same time, though, he also was given the spirit of faith by Yahweh Shai. And oh man, the way he talking, walking, move. I see speak as a man, you gotta imagine his works. To be enlightened, right? That's what we have for his name's sake. Anyway, let's get back to Salaki. Say John 15 21. But all these things they will do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them how they speak through us, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. Wait a minute. What's the opposite of hate? Love. So what do you how shall I say? If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, feed my sheep. So if you haven't re if you're not keeping the commandments, then you haven't repented. Remember what he said? Yeah, we piped unto you, you haven't danced, we mourn unto you, you haven't lamented. And you're not even trying to repent. You don't care. Right? So Yahweh Shah said, You have no cloak for your sin. And if you hate if um, he that hated me hated my father also. Well Proverbs eight and thirty six says, But he that sinneth against me wrong his own soul. All they that hate me love death. So if you love life, what would you do? 
feed the sheep and keep the commandments. If you don't do that, then you love death because it's sin. You sin against your own soul. That's another cut right there that the law is done away with. How is the law done away with when if you love me, keep my commandments, and if you're not doing it, then that means that you wrong in your own soul with sin and that you love death. But once again, the reason why they look at us the way they do it, they speak down on us the way they do, because they know not him that sent me or sent us. So with that being said, I'm going to close out with this piece. So this is Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 5. And they, whether they were here or whether they were forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. So with that being said, please edify and fed, stay in the spirit, don't fear it, just endure it. That's what I've been giving us. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quamasha Allah. Muffled above. Shalom.